I was always a strong person. Always had a good sense of humor and I was happy. Or at least that's what I made everyone see. Ever since I can remember, I've been a pushover. Always the kid that nobody wanted to play with. The kid that everyone made fun of. I spent my whole life looking for a friend. Someone who could accept me for who I am. Yet every time I thought I found that person, I was pushed away, deceived and left behind over and over again. For a long time, I tried convincing myself that none of that really mattered. For a long time, I pretended that I didn't need anyone by my side. But then, it started getting lonely. Having been rejected all my life, I isolated myself from the world, forcing me to hide only deeper in the shadows. Always running away, trying to avoid being everyone's joke. See this? This took me into an even greater depression. And then I came to realize how little I mattered. How much better everyone would be without me and decided my life had to meet its end. The first attempt, the pills. I figured it would be quick and painless. I was wrong. I failed, and in my mind I had one more reason to end it all. Then came the second attempt, an even greater failure. After that, many more attempts followed. Many times, I stood looking in the mirror, asking myself the same question over and over again. What is so wrong with me that I seem to deserve nothing but rejection? Is it the way that I look? The way I dress? Or maybe the way I talk? Trying to fit into the crowd, I changed everything about myself. But still, I remained alone. I wondered if in my attempts to end my life, maybe I had succeeded and this was my punishment. My mind kept spinning in circles, only confusing me more and more, going nowhere. I finally decided to take a last bold attempt and obtain the necessary tools to end all this. One bullet, just one, and it will all be over. As I reached for the weapon, my heart started pounding in a way I never experienced before. I almost felt it stop. I had the cure to my pain right in my hands, yet I was filled with only fear. I had no choice. <laughs> 